Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I'm here today providing you with your career, life, health, wealth, love, and overall energy for the month of October 2018. It is officially harvest season. So what that means is that it's the perfect time to manifest what we want, to go after what we need, to build, okay, upon things that really, really matter to us, all right? And this is also a good time to put past hurts behind us, to focus on something that can increase our love, our stability, to increase our wealth and our well-being. Now, cancer, you know, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with you, but for some of you, you know, this is a general terror reading, okay? So for some of you, this will apply. The rest of you, I don't know. <laughs> so um, this is how it's going to go. For a lot of you, it's like you are reverting back to some type of spiritual path that you used to have in the past, okay? Something in the past relating to your spirituality is really crossing paths with you right now. A lot of you are either going through or overcoming a situation where there's a lot of, um, uh, heartache or some type of disruption either in your home or with your partnerships or maybe even with your children or maybe even with your family maybe with your family regarding your children i just see hostilities here but i also see temple path and temple path is one of those cards that scorpio actually got so if you are a Scorpio, maybe you have Cancer in your birth chart, maybe you're a Cancer with Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon sign, I'm not sure, but I need you guys to review what's in your birth chart because this reading is so important, okay? Now, when it comes to overall matters of the heart and situations, you know, a lot of you may have been through so many different things where it causes you to have your defenses up, you know, making you feel um, like you have to protect yourself and protect others. So it's almost like there's some type of situation where some type of hostilities are being directed toward you or you are about to be or you may have already been going through some things okay and the best thing for you to do right now is just to relax take a step back and not to feed into this aggressive negative energy okay the negative energy or the aggressive energy that may be verbal it may be an emotional disagreement with someone it may be a physical disagreement maybe somebody got into a fight Maybe you guys, you know, end up arguing. Maybe something just happened within a home that has caused you and your spouse to have some type of disagreements. Or maybe it's just a fight that basically just involved you and your spouse. However, for those of you, I'm sorry, guys, I have to move this around a little bit. So, for those of you who this situation may be about you and your spouse or you and your family, you know, whatever it is, there's definitely some type of verbal or emotional situation dealing with someone in your environment, being excessively critical, demanding, or even hurtful in a work or social situation, okay? So this could be career-related, this could be love-related, Okay, this could be, and when I talk about love, I don't mean just your spouse. As I said before, this could be family, it could be close friendships. It's definitely someone you care for, okay? And a lot of you may feel like you were stabbed in your back. There's, there's a lot of backstabbing going on. A lot, just a lot of... You know, I didn't do it. You know, it's a lot of back and forth um, energy here, okay? 
that this is different from a deceit energy or deceitful energy because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt, right? Um, you may have been living with a person for a particular time, or maybe you'll realize that, I just feel like you guys are going to be realizing a lot of truth this season, okay? Because I also see indecision here, and that lets me know as well that in the midst of finding out about this truth, or coming to realization, because when I see a sword, it reminds me of air energy, so it lets me know that you may be Dealing with an air sign as an Aquarius, Libra, or um, a Gemini, or this could be simply a person where you may have to be more forefront and more honest with, okay? Or you may just simply find out a truth about a particular situation or about a person, okay? And it is going to lead you, you know, it's like, it's going to lead you to feel like you have some decisions to make. You know what I mean? Like, do I want to go back to this or do I not? Do I want to go to this particular situation or do I not? Do I want to go back to this person or don't I? Okay. A lot of questions. Okay. So you may have been living with this person. You may have be, you may be working with this person. Whether this is new or something that just happened in the past, something old, this is the time to regain control, okay? So, this is allowing or not allowing dishonoring treatments from others, okay? So, you're not, you're no longer being accepting or receptive to this type of energy, which is good. That means that, you know what, I had enough. I've I've been through hell and back. I'm no longer tolerating this type of energy. I've dealt with it in my past, and it's gotten me in nowhere. So I feel like a lot of you are really, really, you know, realizing that that is the cycle that you have to break these chains of negativity, allowing dishonor and treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. The more you tolerate that negative energy, the more it's going to come to you. Whether this is from family, friends, old partners, old lovers, whatever it is, it may feel risky, but you need to have the courage, my love, to at least stand up for yourself, you know, every once in a while, you know, so... You have to stand up for something, my love. You have to stand for something or basically for for everything. That is just common sense, you know. And so you are at the place right now, Cancer, where you got some decisions to make. You know, do I want to continue to put myself through this? Do my children matter to me? Do my family matter to me? Am I doing anything wrong that I shouldn't be doing? Am I saying all the wrong things? What am I, what should I be saying? Should I be saying something else? Should I try to work it out? Should I call these people up and spread a little love? Like, what should I do? A lot of you are having these questions. I'm sorry, guys. The smoke is, like, coming in my eyes, okay? So. Whenever you have temple path, hostilities, and indecision here, it's really about deciding if you want to stay and go through this particular situation or if you want to make some changes. With temple path being here, this is asking you to go deep within. This is asking that you turn to spiritual guides for, you know, some type of assistance, some type of guidance and reassurance. That is what this is, you know, or for some of you who practice spiritual rituals, this may be for you too. Maybe you need to go a lot deeper than what you think you should, okay? Now, the thing is this, you know, aside from all that, this is also asking for you to basically do some self-reflecting, okay? You want to make sure that you are paying attention to your actions, the way you're being treated, the way that you are treating people, all right? But I feel like there's a lot of ego involved. There's a lot of competition. I can do better than you. I am better than you. And that 
that energy is so redundant. Like, I feel like you guys have been through this multiple times already, you know? And it's like... It's like you don't want to be thoughtless or selfish. I don't feel like you are thoughtless and selfish. But you know what? A lot of times you have that tendency where you can sometimes be like all about you and all about your spouse and all about what you want. And this is asking you to go deeper. To turn the new leaf. To say, you know what? Maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. You know? And so you have to be willing to be open to that idea, whether in a love, friendship, family, or business relationship, this person could even also be very selfless, or selfish or thoughtless. They could be very self-absorbed, only thinking about themselves, and makes plans only in terms of how the situation may affect them, okay, or her, of course. But you may have lingered too long, repeatedly given to this person. Even though you haven't received much in turn, it's like you just keep giving. You keep giving and you just keep on giving, right? Now, this, again, this is not for all of you. This is a general message, so it may and it may not apply, okay? But for some of you, this is the energy where you are constantly giving and giving and giving. And you're not taking a step back to say, okay, what can I work on for myself? What, you know, how can I be a better woman? How can I be a better brother? How can I be a better mom? Like, you guys are not really taking that time out to think about those things. It's really just been about, it's all about me. And for some of you, you deserve that. I mean, for some of you, it's been like, really like everybody's just taking advantage of you. Whereas in some situations, you are wrong. And this is the perfect time for you to make amends, to speak your truth, to say what you feel, to be honest. Even if you do feel like this person person can be a bit selfish, even if you do feel like they can be a bit self-absorbed, only thinking about themselves. I feel like you holding this in is not really getting you anywhere, Cancer. You may have lingered too long, repeatedly given to this person, even though you haven't received much. And so what is to be expected? It's almost like you have literally tolerated this dismissiveness because you just just kind of just kept hoping and praying that things would get better. And for a lot of you, you are dealing with that individual. You are dealing with the person, hoping and praying that things will change, that their mentality will change, that they will just almost, just maybe a little bit, treat you just a little bit better, right? Or maybe that they would cater to your feelings or your needs just a little bit. You are, you know, some of you have been kind of afraid to just walk away. Afraid to basically face what people think about you, right? But you are caught now to be aware. This person is basically unlikely to change. So, you know, it makes perfect sense why even in your love cards, you got reconciliation. So I don't know who this person is that will be trying to get you back or maybe like, trying to fight for you for whatever reason, reconciliation is here. And you can choose to accept it or walk away. And all you have to do is think about how they treat you. Do they give you freedom? Do they make you feel loved? Do they make you feel secure or do you feel respected? Do you feel in control of your love life being with this person? Are they abusive? Are they manipulative? Or are they just downright selfish and self-absorbed? What is it? Okay? Someone from your past is returning to your life. And you have to decide for yourself whether you want to go back to that situation or you're trying to move forward. 
because I feel like it does involve for some of you it will be like your 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 children's mom or your children's dad or this could be where you know maybe you guys were in a situation and maybe you realize that you both were acting very immature maybe you feel like they were very immature or maybe you realize that you are being very immature or this may be simply a request or something dealing with your children where you feel like, look, I have your children and yes, I care for you, but I don't want to be with you. Okay? But I do see here, my love, that you do deserve love. Take an honest look in your mirror and see how staying in this relationship of, you know, affects your whole being. Just take a look at it. Take a look at this relationship and see if this is something that can really elevate you. Is this person trying to hold you back? Are they putting you in situations full of danger? Are they risking your freedom? Are they lying a lot to you? Are they causing you a lot of distress? Do you realize that you're a lot happier when they're not around? Like, what is it? So this is not an ex. This is definitely someone that you may have considered a great lover and now you're having some thoughts, deep, deep thoughts about this particular person. But you do deserve love. You are lovable. Of course you are. Of course you are, okay? Yes, of course you are. This could even be somebody who is just incapable of love. You know, who knows? I mean, I mean, I know that a lot of you feel like, okay, am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing by leaving my ex alone? Or am I doing the right thing by taking my daughter's father back? Like, a lot of you are having these thoughts, and it's not that you're not on the right track. You know, it's like spirit or God or the universe just want you to... Take a deeper look. Like, they just want you to be sure, you know, that this is what you want. Like I said, I do see some indecision here. You have had a lot of opportunity where I feel like they have been calling you back, trying to convince you to do something that they want you to do. And for a lot of you, you're trying to decide if this is something you really want. Uh -huh. You're trying to decide this is something you're really comfortable with. And with that being said, as you're thinking about all of this, it's like you're stuck between two different worlds. You know, on one hand, you want to please your children. You want to please your friends. And then on the other hand, you want to please your man or you want to please your girlfriends. And you have some decisions to make, whether this is about a career situation or about a money situation or about love. You have some situ some decisions to make, my love. You have some deep, deep decisions to make. You know, it's hard, you know, it's one thing to say, you know, this is what you want to do. But when the going gets going, my love, that is when you are being tested. That is when you are being tested. Don't worry so much about being on the right track. Guidance will come to you, my love. It will come to you. This card here talking about being on the right track is another card talking about making decisions. Making the right decision. Am I doing what's right? Should I call them up? Should I forgive them? Should we talk? Should I take this person back? You may have been <sighs> certainly just unsure about not knowing if you were on the right track or not. Regard to a project, a relationship, or maybe even just a career decision. Or maybe you just want to get the hell out of wherever you are. Maybe you just want to change your entire location. Now, this is interesting because Leo has a lot of similar energy as well, okay? Are you sure that this is what you want? A lot of you throughout the summer, 
You have made some drastic decisions. And for some of you, you're regretting it. For some of you, you're thinking about actually going for it with this decision. And that is why it's telling you that you are on the right track. For those of you that are thinking about leaving, relocating, moving out the state, moving out the country, go for it. Follow your heart. Follow the beat of your drum, my love. Because you would not be misled. I'm a big believer on just following my spirit. Now is the time to decide what you want. Now is the time to get clear about what you want. Even if you're not quite as assured as you would like to be, the, you know, look at this. The engine is smoking. Your train is ready, my love. The universe is ready to take you to some higher places. But there is a direction that compels you, so get on board, and you will not falter. Follow your heart. If something is telling you to leave this place, leave this place. Whether it is a home, a job, a relationship, leave that environment. If your gut is telling you that it is no longer working for you, this is not happening for you. Do what you need to do. You have to follow this guidance, my love. Listen to your gut. You will not be misled. Do you understand me? You will not be misled, okay? And you have to really, really believe that, okay? You have to take action. You know, like I said, with all the hostilities and drama and he say, she say, and all this stuff going on, it's no wonder why, I mean, what the hell? You probably packed your shit already and just said the hell with this, right? But for some of you, going into October is going to be challenging, honey. I just see a lot of you saying, you know what? I'm done slamming a book down and just disappearing. <laughs> so, and this may be just simply from people in general. So whatever the conflict is, remember, dear love, you are not the victim of your circumstances. No matter what happens, there's some type of conflict between doing what's right, doing what you love, or doing what everybody else wants you to do. Listen to your spirit and how it directs you. You may actually have had a number of past lives where you may have wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore may have joined some type of, you know, some type of ritual practice and some type of cult, some type of religion, some type of something spiritual, okay? Then missing the wonders that secular world could offer, it's like you're trying to decipher whether you want to do this or you want to do that. You know, do you want to be with him or do you want to be with him? Do you want her or do you want her over there? Like, you know what I mean? Like, really, really trying your best to make up your mind and to make the right decision. What is the world offering you? What is the universe giving you, my love? such as love, family, financial success, you can choose the secular world exclusively in your next incarnation. Yet, this did not offer the spiritual forces you also sought. Because of this, it's likely that you bounce back and forth from a spiritual atmosphere to a personal atmosphere, worldly atmosphere, worldly atmosphere to a spiritual atmosphere you're bouncing back and forth because you're not sure do i want to club every day or do i want to go to church every sunday <laughs> you are now again experiencing a polarity between fully self-realized spiritual experience and personal success in your day-to-day -day life it often feels as if you had to let one go in order to basically embrace the other. So this is like a tug of war energy. All of your cards are basically saying the same thing. All of it. 
indecision, the four of roses, you know, is really, really bouncing off. Like all of these cards are basically saying the same thing. And if I am correct, for a lot of you, this does involve a love situation. For some of you, this is about your children. This is about trying to do what's best for your children. Or maybe you just like, you know what? I've been through so much. I just want a fresh start. Like, I just want to pray. I want to meditate. I want to get myself together spiritually. I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to really be happy. So for a lot of you, this is like a true realization of what you really want. Tug of, tug of war. Tug of war will continue until you learn to bring your spiritual self to every situation in your personal life. It is time to replace worry with trust and integrate your internal truth with your temporal reality. If you do perhaps have a job or maybe you are in a relationship that just constantly or actively pours you from your spirit, then you must deal with it, my love. You have to stand up for yourself. Or you may have to just leave it alone. Who you are forever is who you are now. Stop allowing these situations to hold you back from true success. When you own it, absolute self-realization in both worlds will elite you no longer. When you know that you know that you know that you know, nothing will be able to stop you. Do you understand? When the power is in your hands, and you know that you know that you know, nobody would not be able to stop you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And I'm talking about on a spiritual level, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Get your shit together, my love. Even in love, okay? Because like I said, for a lot of you, your life, your love life is being affected by children. Look at this. A lot of you are trying to decide, you know what? Fuck this. I got to focus on me and mine. Yes, I love you. I care for you. And yeah, I like you a lot. Yes, I love hanging with you and partying with you. But my children come first. And that is going to be a really big challenge for you, Cancer, because you love to love. But spirit is asking that you focus on your spirit more than your love or more than your heart or more than your emotions. Trust your inner guidance. It's interesting because you and Scorpio got a lot of the same energy. Oh, my God. You guys got a lot of the same energy. I'm telling you, if you have Scorpio in your birth chart anywhere, as a sun, moon, rising, or maybe you have Venus in Scorpio, please review this. It is highly important, dear love. Scorpio got a lot of the same energy, okay, to focus more on their spirit rather than their emotions. And for you, Cancer, it is really like the same exact way, okay? So I'm going to do your overall guidance for you. I have a deck here that I just absolutely love. So let's check out Cancer overall guidance and reassurance and advice. This is your overall advice for the month of October 2018. Cancer, you are not your circumstance. You are loved. Your children love you. Your family love you. Your friends love you. But you have to be honest. What are you feeling? What are you afraid of? What's going on with your mind? What's going on in your home? Is there anything that we need to know? How can your friends be there for you when you don't even trust them? If you're afraid, how can you attract goodness into your world always being fearful? How can you choose this day that you are going to allow true love to enter your life? That you will trust your spirit to guide you. When will be the day where you allow spirit to just take over? Stop allowing your emotions to rule you. Stop being so gullible. Stop being so afraid that if you don't settle with 
your spouse that your spouse will leave you. You have to get out of that insecurity or that insecure way of thinking because it is holding you back, my love. You have had a lot of resources, a lot of support. You have to decide for yourself this day that you are going to choose your spirituality over your emotions, Cancer. Okay, so let's see what the universe has for you. That is what I feel for you, but let's see what spirit says, okay? Now, these cards can be in reference to a question you may have had, anything that you may be concerned about, anything that you were thinking or feeling. Please, please let me know, okay? Please put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you are feeling after this message. You know, Oh, all right. So, two cards came out for you, and I don't know, my spirit just said leave it. So, I left it. All right? So, ask your angels, okay? If you're totally getting to the point where you just can't seem to make up your mind, please pray. Prayer is a form of our thoughts. So, even if you feel like, well, I don't know how to pray... Just begin to think of all the wonderful things that you want. And I want you to live your life each and every day as if it's already happening. And just begin to thank the universe that it is already happening. That resources are here. That support is here. Love is here. Finances are here. Just begin to thank the universe that it is working out in your favor, okay? Talk to your archangels. My love, I recommend Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is a healer. He heals us mentally, physically, emotionally. Oh my God, Cancer. I just feel your energy so, so deeply. Oh, and it's making me so emotional because I just, I feel you guys so much. It, it doesn't really, you're not losing anything by being honest, Cancer. Whatever it is that's really hurting you, bothering you, affecting you, you have to just be honest about it. There's no holding back. Whether this is to an ex, a friend, a lover, family, your job, whatever it is, honey, please let it out. You got to let them know. Please let it out. Stop holding it in. Stop just tolerating it and putting up with it. Enough is enough, okay? Please tell the truth. Please tell the truth. Tell the truth, okay? This is very heavy on my heart, Cancer. Tell the truth. What is it that is affecting you at this time? Oh my God, look at that. I just killed an ant with my bare hands. I don't even know how he get here. Look, nope, he's mad. <laughs> oh, should have been on my table. So, tell the truth, Cancer. Tell the truth, okay? Now, I do see big happy changes here for your overall advice or feelings. Whatever it is that you were concerned about or thought, thinking about. Big happy changes. You guys got this energy back in either June or May. You guys got this similar energy. Something is definitely happening for you in the future. And as long as you turn to your archangels, you will not be misled, my love. Please speak your truth and be honest, okay? So I love you, Cancer. Please let me know what you guys are feeling. Let me know what you are thinking. Please comment. You know, I do read those comments, guys. Please, please, please let me know in the comments what you feel or what you think about everything that I just said. If you would like something more personal, maybe you're a more private individual you know, sure, you can message me. You can email me. I am very, very receptive and very usually responsive to all of my 
friends on YouTube and throughout social media, I'm usually very responsive, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and all of your support. I really hope that we can work this out. Whatever it is that you guys are going through, just call me, okay? So I love you, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your time and your energy. Have a great, great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Thank you.